Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Today's article will be about a uh, energy company from Austria, Europe. And I'm very familiar, not very familiar, but first time I heard about OMV when I was still living uh, as a, um, how should I say it, as a young adult in Romania. And uh, after the so-called revolution and Ceausescu was kicked out by <clears throat> external friends and internal, uh, a lot of foreign companies came and uh, uh, did business, invested in Romania. Now, you know, OMV, this is the company, uh, it's an Austrian company, energy company. It was very common and it did some very hanky-pankies with the Romanian government that owned uh, uh, gas and oil in Romania. Romania still has natural gas, still has oil. So this OMV came and took over um, so, took over of uh, some um, Romanian petroleum and gas companies, uh, buying shares and through corrupt uh, politicians and uh, people, got a big, big share of the Romanians' uh, natural resources, which I guess it's okay, you know, it's competition and so on. But I know that certain, uh, certain um, um, certain things are strategic uh, uh, reserves, strategic uh, uh, assets, let's put it this way. So I don't know if energy is one of them or not. And I don't know to what extent OMV uh, manages and how much it manages the Romanian gas or oil or whatever the dealings are. Now, it's not about Romania, it's about Austria's OMV and uh, <clears throat> Russia. So this article comes from Reuters from May 20th, 2022. And uh, this is the title, Austria's gas importer, OMV, to transfer euros to Russia for payment. What you say? This is a sacrilege. No, it's not. Remember, just a short history, you know, Russia invaded, if you want me to use a straight uh, word that would qualify, invaded Ukraine for whatever reasons, discussable, blah, blah, blah. Then the Europeans, uh, thought that they should uh, place sanctions on Russia. They did. They shoot themselves in the foot. They said, well, we're not going to buy gas. We're not going to buy um, oil, nothing from Russia. Okay, then they need it. And they said, the Russia is okay. You don't buy it. That's fine. From now on, now on you're going to pay, uh, as a result, you're going to pay in rubles. All right? Oh, the European says, no, 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 no. We're gonna want, we still want your resources the way we want it, when we want it, and to pay for it how we want it. And the Russian says, uh... Yet, and then the Europeans, some Europeans said, ha, ah, we're not going to pay in rubles, that's dreaming, ha, 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 that, these were the words, you know, make-believe, dreamings, blah, 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 and that was uh, Scholz, you know, Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor of Germany, it was Macron, the President of France, it was Mario Draghi, the Prime Minister of Italy, basically it was everybody saying, you know, uh, Russia, you can't do that, a contract is a contract. We can, we can uh, sanction you whenever we want, but you can't do anything back to us. And Russia says, uh, okay, duh, okay, see you. So then this European says, we're not going to buy from you in euros, now in euros, in uh, rubles. And now they pay. They all pay. They will all pay because they need it. So now Austria, who I think is very dependent on Russian gas, here we go. So Berlin, May 20th, Austrian Energy Group OMV joins other European companies that transfer euro payments to Russian gas, for Russian gas to Gazprom Bank, it said on Friday, adding that it expects no problems through a conversation, to a conversion to rubles. Yeah, no problems, of course. No. And then, we have no, now implemented a sanctions compliant payment pr process that ensures, ensures gas Deliveries can be paid in timely manner, an OMV spokesperson told reporters. A man or woman, what the... Anyway, they didn't check. All right. We consider our payment obligations fulfilled with the transfer of the euro amount. The European Union ex executive, to executive told member states this week they can keep buying Russian gas without breaching sanctions imposed on Russia following its invasion of Ukraine, EU officials said. The Commission advised companies against opening a bank account in rubles at Gazprom Bank to do this, as requested by the Kremlin, by the Russian government, but has not explicitly said doing 
so would breach sanction in its formal written guidance to governments on the issue. Germany's VNG came out first earlier this month saying it will transfer the euros to Gazprom bank account for ruble conversions in a move aiming to continue to ensure supplies. There you have it. I said that from the very beginning that they will buy and they will do whatever the Russians will tell them. Unless they say, okay, we're done and then the population will suffer. That was the result. The population will suffer for determination made by some leaders in a democratic system. They were voted in. Yes, they were. So, which one was it? And then if the, those leaders would have done that, the electorate will be very upset and they will vote them out. So you see the popularity contest in a democratic system uh, doesn't make you do that. But once you're elected for about four or five years, if you really have a, a, an agenda in those five years, you do whatever you want almost for your future interest, your interest, they will take care of you after you finish your political life. You know, you're going to be a CEO of a big company like, I don't know, Paul Burton or something like that. And then in those five years or four years, once you're in an office, you screw the whole industry in the name of that company that promised you or more companies. So basically, you know, you work for your little interest. And after four years, you're going to be voted out. You're going to be not crying and you're going to be placed on a five uh, board of directors with some 20 million dollars a year from all those five companies with retirement with everything you want so uh, would you take that offer or would you want to be an honest politician that you are at the whim at the mass media who are going to portray you however they want in front of the electorate which one you want to be you got children maybe you got the future oh you have morality okay then then you got to do something with the system because the system is as it is. So mass media dictates who you are. You are a good person or a bad, bad, bad person. As a guy in 1920s said in a book, certain kind of book, we can mention it here, even if it's legal, if, if it is legal, that the mass media does this. He said, I observed that in a week, the most correct and outstanding individual in the society could be destroyed by the mass media and turn from a man of quality into a man of a pariah in a society. And the most trivial subject, the most trivial individual could be made to appear as being the new Jesus and the most important issue by the mass media. That was the power that the mainstream mass media had and has. Now it has a problem because it's a lot of outlets that you now let things spill around and they don't like that a bit because they lost control of being the protectors of the truth. So there you have it. This, this is what happens right here. OMV will pay as everybody else will pay because they need it. Otherwise, the little fish, which is us, the population, will get upset and vote them out. <clears throat> of course, uh, I can't say more. Uh, anyway, this is it. They will pay. They will pay and they will pay. There's not enough gas to cover the losses, the supply, the demand that it is. They have to. And Americans are far away, far away yet. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth. And Austria, you're going to have gas. You're going to have gas. Yes. Bye.